officially started my journey as a girl boss. I was here in America to stay and that meant figuring out a whole new career path. I went to TJ Maxx, I got a cute notebook and I wrote a list of possible businesses I could start. My requirements were something I'm interested in, something I have the skills for, that doesn't need much money, 200 bucks max, and no certification or degree because that was off the table. I became a professional organizer. I learned everything I could about marketing and I fell in love with business. I see myself as an explorer of possibilities and I see possibilities everywhere. Not only for me, but for everyone. That took me to blogging and coaching, which became my second business. And I loved it. I loved coaching and seeing my clients achieve their goals and grow. But to be honest, I was spending more time creating content than trying to get new clients. My marketing strategy when I started coaching back in 2016 was a monthly digital magazine called Enlightenment. That was fun, not a good strategy, and I knew it. I started making videos in Portuguese, first for my blog, then for my coaching practice that I eventually started for Brazilians. So my clients were coming from the credibility I was building through my storytelling, my creativity when showing them what I knew about lifestyle design and how they could change their lives, but also through my authenticity, which many of my followers pointed out. Creating content for me was as energizing as my coaching calls, but I started not having the time for it. My life also took an unexpected turn, if I can say it like that. Um, I started having challenges with my health and my mental health, and coaching as a business for me, it wasn't what I wanted to be doing anymore. Although I love doing it and I, I still want to do it, just not as a business anymore. So one night last fall, I was watching a documentary with my husband and I was making comments on the angles of the shots, how they chose to add the captions, the colors, everything, like I had a clue on filmmaking <laughs> and production. And my husband looked at me and he said, babe, you should work with video. I said, babe, actually, I'm gonna work with video. That idea was in the back of my mind for a while, you know? That night was just the universe telling me through him the answers that I was looking for. I did think about becoming a producer or a TV personality from a very young age until my teenage years. It just didn't happen. I was also interested in other things, like being a doctor or a physical therapist, which I actually went to school for. The idea of becoming a filmmaker, starting a new career and a new business at 32 kind of brought more anxiety to my life. <laughs> um, but I knew that this was one possibility for me and that I was given the opportunity to try and see if I can make it work out. My first business took 90 days from the idea to get it up and running. Red Square Media took nine months from the idea to get it launched. I'm delivering a baby, a business baby, and I'm gonna make this baby girl grow. I'm ready.